Since the dawn of time, we've been treated to an enormous amount of Super Mario-centric sport games. Today, I want to give you my top five Mario sport games of the handheld variety. Let's go! Five. Mario Hoops 3-on-3 on the Nintendo DS. This is a fun, cartoony basketball game. Most of the game utilized the touchscreen, which was somewhat of a bummer, quite frankly. The DS touchscreen was fine, but most games I found personally operated cleaner with the classic controls. It was cool seeing Lakitu release the ball to begin each match. Uh, Mario Hoops offered special shots. These shots were made when the player controlling the ball taps on the touchscreen rapidly to form a symbol. If the special shot was taken beyond the three-point line, they could not be stopped. Mario Hoops 3-on-3 was released September 11, 2006 in North America. Four, baseball. No Mario in the title, and back in those days, it was not needed. You threw an image of Mario on a package, and we were buying it in droves. Released in North America on July 31st, 1989, baseball was on the Game Boy. The game featured the USA mode and Japan mode. The game also utilized the Game Boy link cables so you could play against your friends. It's baseball. You get the gist. Three. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games for the Nintendo DS, released in North America on July 22nd, 2008. It's always fun seeing Mario and Sonic on screen together. Many believe the game was an April Fool's joke at first, but Sega put an end to that. And since its release, Mario and Sonic have traveled to many Olympic Games. The game uses Nintendo and Sega characters and pits them against each other in Olympic events. It's a series of minigames, essentially, and it's endless fun. Two... Mario Tennis on the Virtual Boy. I'm seeing red. Released in North America on August 21st, 1995. Full disclosure, I never owned this game. I never owned a Virtual Boy. In fact, it is my white whale. My family used to go to an outlet store in the mid 90s when the Virtual Boy was brand new. There was a demo model of it there with various games to play. Each weekend, I would visit and play Mario Tennis while my parents shopped. And they also had SNES and Sega Genesis games for clearance prices as well, so I spent all my paper route money on those. There was something simplistic and fun about Mario Tennis on the Virtual Boy. It used a virtual reality in an effective way, and the lack of any color aside from red was never noticeable. One day, I will play it again, and I will own you. And number one... Mario Golf Game Boy Color, released in North America on October 15th, 1999. Does it have killer graphics? Nope. Does it feature wacky shots? No. Is Mario in it? Yeah. Is Luigi in it? Heck yeah. This game is so simple, so difficult, and so much fun. It's also the perfect game to play on an airplane. I bought this game on the 3DS eShop and play it regularly. Can't beat Mario Golf. You aim, hit a button, Hit the button again, and you pray you're on the green. Mario Golf, don't sleep on it. Game Boy Color, it's so simple. It's so much fun. Get it. Play it. Those are my top five handheld Mario sport games. Let me know what yours are in the comments below, and don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to stay up to date with all our newest videos. But until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.